a little bit bumpy today. We've got the first of the fall storms kind of sweeping through. So we're just going to go out to about 50 meters of water. Oceanographer Jack Barth has had plenty of bumpy rides off the Oregon coast, launching and retrieving these underwater gliders. From April to October, they gather data to help answer questions about the health of the world's oceans. All right, but we're going to go with the swell. All right, here we go. Next one, right now. The main things we're measuring are temperature, salinity, and importantly, the dissolved oxygen of the water. And that's what tells us uh, how that low oxygen zone looks. With National Science Foundation funding, Barth is studying low oxygen, or dead zones, which appear each summer off the Oregon-Washington coast. So in 2006, we actually went to zero oxygen, and it extended uh, many miles across the seafloor. And that's when we partnered with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to send a camera down on a remotely operated vehicle. And we got these images of uh, dead crabs everywhere. Worldwide, ocean dead zones now number about 400. The major man-made cause is agricultural runoff from rivers into the ocean. In addition, winds and currents move nutrient-rich but oxygen-poor water from the deep ocean to the coast. Microscopic organisms called phytoplankton thrive but then die, decompose, and the cycle continues. Climate change may also come into play. We think there's two scenarios that global warming is potentially affecting this. So out in the deeper ocean, uh, there's measurements that show that the oxygen levels are, are going ever so slightly down with time. When that water is brought to our shore, it's already low in oxygen. Global warming may also be influencing wind patterns and changing ocean circulation. Barr says these smart robots provide new insight to understand our oceans. To me, it's opened this whole new view under the sea. I think it's really revolutionized how we can keep a tap on what's going on out there. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.